there has been very many cases of people we know, our own relatives and friends, uh, who have been picked from even inside Mandara town. As far as I'm concerned, in the inquiry file, we only have one case, as I'm speaking today. It reached a moment they even said they bring bulldozers. We said, let any. Where did it go? No man's graves. Nothing. Dozens of men are reported to have been forcibly disappeared by members of Kenya's security forces. In the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights report, The Error of Terror. The preliminary report claims that 81 people are missing and 25 men have been extrajudicially killed. One incident that was captured in the report, which the police have failed to respond to for over a year, was that of the disappearance of Hamza Mohammed. It would be difficult to respond to because this time his kidnapping was caught on camera. On the 8th of February 2015, Hamza was working in his Mpesa kiosk in Garissa town. Hapo kidogo tu ndani ya duka tulikuwa na customer wawili. Mama fulani na kijana ambaye pia ni customer. Huyu mama mimi ndo nilikuwa nahudumia. Kwa ya kwamba alikuwa na tatizo la Mpesa, she wanted the reversal of certain amount of money. Na mimi nilikuwa nashughulika na hiyo. So I never doubted this guy. Baada ya hapo wawili tena wakaingia moja kuna kofia. Walikuwa na chupa maji mbili. Walipongea hapo mmoja wao kutoka nyuma alisongesha nyuma, alisongesha kiti kutoka karibu ndilisha kwa karibu na kio. All of a sudden one jumps over the counter and grabs Hamza. This man here. Na kamjaribu kushika mkono akamwambia sisi tumetoka polisi. Tunakupeleka kwa police station for investigation na utarudishwa wa haina shida. Ndio hapo sasa jamaa akaniita mkanambia nimefungwa kuja kuja ufungwa sevens. He is believed to be an officer from Kenya's General Service Unit, an elite paramilitary unit. The other men keep watch. Mama nayo mzuia kutoka nje na yule kijana ile ile asipike nduru ndio watu wa wasijue inaendelea hapo ndani. Mimi nilitoka nikafunga hiyo sevens na wakatoka na kijana CHR report further states that Hamza's brother found the four men forcing Hamza into the back of a Toyota Land Cruiser. When he challenged the men, one of them allegedly pulled out a pistol and threatened to shoot him in the mouth. Hamza's brother would later call Hamza's phone and trace it. According to him, the signal was coming from the Nairobi Criminal Investigation Department's headquarters on Kiambu Road. Hamza is still missing to this day. Just like Patrick Wangoi's disappearance in Solio, many of those who have gone missing here have been linked, at least anecdotally, to a crime, terrorism. <laughs> <laughs>